The city of San Marcos is looking to address the homeless situation during their upcoming city council meeting. On Tuesday, the city will be discussing camping within city limits, panhandling, as well as the direction of the police department for enforcement. In a memo from the city's director of public safety, it mentions issues which they would like to be highlighted during the meeting. It includes large homeless encampments. It states many while within the city are actually on private property and therefore there are issues in enforcing it. There's also concerns that if they act too aggressive too fast, this may just relocate the homeless to other locations within the city. Fox 7 Austin spoke with the Texas Homeless Network about enforcement and the homeless. They say now is a delicate time when it comes to tackling the issue. Criminalizing homelessness is never a way to end homelessness. It has no effect in, in regard to ending homelessness or even alleviating homelessness. So we rather would have communities expend their energy and efforts on finding ways to in homelessness and prevent people from falling into homelessness. Earlier this month, Governor Abbott signed into law House Bill 1925, which makes it illegal to camp in public spaces. Eric Samuels, the president of the Texas Homeless Network, says when it comes to enforcement, they've already seen cases in some communities like Austin, where members of the homeless community are moved to areas which can be dangerous just to be out of sight. This is why they urge cities to think about a long-term solution. If they are behind, say, you know, the green belt and people cannot see them, then they have less access to help. They also are further out from the agencies that can provide help and the emergency services that can provide help. And in the unfortunate situation where they are around someone who is violent, uh, that help would come way too late. Earlier this month, the governor sent a letter to counties and cities reminding them to enforce the state camping ban and how there is significant funding from the federal government available which these communities should take advantage of.